Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and I'm here to announce a few things. One is a new project, and one is a, well, just a review thing. So, this is a less interesting thing. This is the uh, review thing. It is an Alienware Area 51 M17XR1. This is the Alienware Corp one. And yeah, this is one I just got. I can see the uh, main specs there. It's got a gigabyte of memory, it looks like. Not sure if it's included or not, but it's got a T8100 at 2.1 gigahertz. And the interesting bit uh, underneath uh, is it looks like it's got the dual video cards that it should. So I'm wondering what those will be. Now that's going to be a guessing game. Uh, I'm going to say it's got dual 8700s. Just a completely random guess. I have no idea. And then, yep, Illinois Corp M17XR1. This was the last uh, laptop that Illinois made before being bought out by Dell. So, like there, I don't know if you can see the mouse or not, but hopefully you can. If not, then oh well. I'll make a circle on the screen in the editing thing. So, there is the memory, and it's got two hard drive slots under it as well. That looks like it's got a caddy, that's good. Doesn't need one, but you know, it's good to have one. Uh, the battery is obviously missing, and I looked it up online, and they can be anywhere from 60 to $90. And I already paid over 100 for this, and doing that plus... Like getting hard drives and stuff would mean there's not very much left for me at that point if I want to resell this. So I think I'm going to use it to uh, replace the uh, Dell E6510 that I've been using for a while now. But yeah. And then here's the project coming up that you're probably a lot more interested in. Uh, it's much of the same actually. It is an M17X, once again, Illinois Corp, but this is a parts unit. I only, I got it for less than $30, with shipping included. So you can see it's missing a keyboard and the top power bar that has the power button. Uh, it said that it's missing a uh, keyboard, top power bar, and it's I got a... Uh, issue with the power jack. So I have a new power jack on the way. Uh, it looks like it's still there, but it could be an internal issue. If it's a motherboard issue, then oh well. Yeah, it looks not terrible. It's got a few scratches, but it's not too bad. It's not like shattered screen and stuff here. It looks to be in intact. Uh, this one did not power up. So, I don't know what the processor is. It also says uh, no memory, as you can see. And it looks like it may or may not have a caddy there. And you can see it does have dual video cards. And I asked the seller to send me his close-up photos of, of the labels. And it turns out that this one has dual 8600 uh, video cards. And the main reason why I got it. Uh, was it has a battery. No idea if it's good or not, but it's got the rubber foot and it'll keep it even and the possibility that it could hold a charge makes it all worth $30. So yeah, that's the main reason why I got it, but uh, here's where the project thing comes in. I'm going to see if I can uh, restore this to its former glory. Well, as much as I can, I'm not, I'm not going to replace every single panel here. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to completely take the thing apart to make sure it looks not terrible. But yeah, what I'm going to do is give it a keyboard, fix the power thing if I can, because it's not, the power thing is not soldered to the board. It's actually just, like, on a little cable that can be unplugged from the motherboard. So if that's the issue, and it works after that, then... Uh, getting a keyboard will be easy. I can get one without the lights for $14, one with the lights uh, for an extra 10 
And the top bar is going to be hard to find because I have not found one on Gtronix or eBay or any place like that. Hopefully one will pop up in the future. But until then, I will use the power bar from this one to test the other one. As you can see, it's got the top media bar with the uh, volume and the shortcut buttons and stuff, along with the power. So yeah, that's what's going to go down. I have already ordered uh, all the bottom panels and stuff for it, so that means two. So the one here is one big one. It goes over the hard drives and the memory. And then there's one that goes over the graphics card. I can see uh, here that it looks like there's uh, a missing screw on each of the graphics cards. So I have a full screw set also coming in. Although the screw set is for an M15X uh, Area 51. Very similar machines built around the same time. So the screws should work either way. There won't be as many of them because the M15X is obviously a smaller laptop. But hey, they should still be compatible and I'll use the ones I need to. And yeah, I think this project will be fun. I am calling it Project Orion. Why? Because uh, alien, space theme. Orion's like a constellation or nebula or whatever you call it. Space joke. And yeah, if you're up for that and uh, waiting for a review of this unit here, then please... Uh, be ready for it. Uh, anyways, I was wondering what processor this has. It's going to be a gamble. It can have up to an X9000 Extreme Edition. Or it can be as low as I think uh, this one has with the T8100. So, yeah. Hopefully the T T8100 unit that powers up here. Uh, has some good graphics cards. Hopefully they work fine in games. If not, well, I have two more uh, here to replace them with, if not. I hope so. Hopefully the new one has dual 9800s somehow. 8800s wouldn't be too bad either, I guess. But yeah, Project Orion and Review Unit are on the way. So if you're up for that, then please go ahead and leave a like. Favorite, comment, share, and of course, subscribe for more. Thanks, Game Boy L. I will see you in the future.